Hey guys, today we are going to talk about the new set and Commander Legends. And Commander Legends is a very interesting set. It only has 24 draft packs and on Amazon it's selling for $125 right now. Uh, some interesting things about it. Um, again, it's supposed to be drafted and there are less packs than a normal box but more than double the packs. So they honestly just... I don't know how to say it. So a collector's booster has 12, this has 24, and then a regular booster box has 36. So, I mean, it's pretty ingenious what they're doing in terms of testing how many boosters per box they can sell, need to create to sell a product. But beyond that, Commander Legends is going to be a good product. Uh, EDH is all people play right now. Um, in the kitchen table, for instance, uh, you basically play EDH or bust. And the reason that is, I mean, the local game store is not open, so you basically have your play group and then no one else. At, at least that's how it has been for me during COVID-19 is I have a play group. I still really enjoy my play group. I think they're great. And we just play ED8s now. Uh, we play board games as well, but ED8s is how we consume magic at this time. I would say that we're not unique in that. I, I would say we are not unique in the fact that we consume ED8s that way. Commander Legends, going to be a great product. I think it's going to be uh, a very interesting product to see how people in, to see how and how much of this product people are willing to buy, especially after, well, after the mass amount of product that has already been printed. Now, this also has different foils. So there are cards that are spoiled at the end. Very interesting, they released it on a Saturday. I didn't know that anyone was working at Wizard Coast on Saturday. That's neither here nor there, but yeah, it's interesting. They chose, it's almost like they were scared to release it uh, for whatever reason, even though the product seems pretty good. I do feel like you're gonna get value. And honestly, like this makes sense as a collector's product. What never made sense to me was core set. What what are people collecting in core set that they would want to keep forever? I don't know. Because those cards, once they rotate out, like nobody understands this. I mean, it's so obvious, right? Because even if you're a basic magic player, you know about rotation. Rotation is coming. And once these very fancy cards rotate, they're going to get hit harder, harder than any other cards because they have nowhere to go. They're not, they're not like strong cards um, because Magic is a very, very diverse product. Now, there's been so many sets in the past. For this current set to have any amount of cards that would be played, it would have to be considered a broken set almost, which is what we saw with Companions and Oko. And then if they're, it's too broken, then they get banned. So, I mean, you never find the right middle ground. It's not like people are paid to do that. They are paid, but I'm, I'm kidding, right? So Commander Legends, I think it's priced affordably. I think it makes sense. There's 20 card booster packs. Um, you can pull from Lorwyn to Alora, the Weatherlight crew to today. Uh, increased power level because again, it's not in standard, so that's good. So you get 20, so you get more cards or less cards? I think you still get less cards. So you went from 15 cards to 20, but you went from 36 packs down to 24. So you still get less cards, but I guess it's a more fun drafting experience. Commander is a very good format because Wizard of Coast did not invent it. Back in the olden days, uh, it was a group of judges who used to, in their downtime, because there was a lot of downtime when you're judge, judging, uh, they were used to play this game. And it was called ED8s. I think ED8s was trademarked or something. They couldn't call it. The Wizard Coach can't call it ED8s. Uh, they needed to call it Commander for some reason. Um, and then they came really quickly. They adopted it. And they came out with the product. But they themselves did not invent this format. And that's why the banned and restriction announcements for Commanders comes from this like one dude uh, who was part of this playgroup initially. It's a very interesting story, actually, because if you had known about Commander, of course, you could also say, hey, if I knew about Tesla or Apple stock, 
before uh, the price today. But if you had known about Commander, there were the foil cards really didn't have much meaning. And it's interesting because foils were much more rare. Uh, I remember the foils in Invasion. Uh, they, back in the day, a foil would replace uh, your regular rare. So you couldn't have a rare foil and a regular rare. You would just get a rare foil. And that would be like, oh, great. I got a little bit extra value. But at the same time, you know, those foils are so super expensive, especially of those legendary creatures, even if they're not very good. So in hindsight, you know, I should have been collecting foils this entire time because at that time. But again, no one really knew uh, that EDH would become as big as it has become. And that's my fear for the format is they are trying to monopolize it. They are trying. I mean, it's. Same with Popper. It is a ground. It is the Magic players themselves decided, hey, we don't need four of one card. That was the big decision, right? So Magic the Gathering wants you to buy four of one card. So whenever you go into Standard, you need four of Okos, you need four Euros, you need four of this and four of that and four of that. Because that's expensive, especially if those cards tend to be Mythic or Land. But EDH said, blank that, we just need one of them, which should have been the way that Magic was the whole time. It doesn't, you know, I know these card games need four, but why do they need four? So, like, if your deck is going to run four of this, four of that, four of this, four of that, four of this, then, like, couldn't there be some type of format where it was just, you know, let's say 20 unique cards in some land, and then you would just rotate the cards in? So once you play a card, it would go back in your deck? I don't know. It always, like shocked me that like you needed four of something it never made sense to me so when edh came as a format i was like yeah that makes sense because then you have more unique experiences you have a hundred random one of cards so every game is more unique than if you have a 60 card deck 20 of them being red land and then out there out of the rest you have 10 unique cards it's like well that doesn't seem like that great and that fun so commander legends going to be great I just don't, you know, I'm going to show you the Commander Green. What was it called? Green something. And that's going to be very interesting. I'll just read you off the cards right now. So, Bane of Progress, Command Tower, Fair Elise, Om, Omnath, Locus of Mana, as, as a mythic, Seedborn Muse, and Soul Ring, and then Sylvan Library. That's a pretty good one. Worldly Tutor. So do, will this affect the price of the older cards? Like, I have a lot of Worldly Tutors. Um, no, because the artwork looks dumb. And Sylvan Library, I mean, I don't see anyone wanting this artwork. At, I, I don't know. Maybe it's me, but the artwork it seems to be getting worse every single set. And now, of course, you're getting a foil version of each. But there's nothing as, trust me, there's nothing as good as a OG Sylvan Library from Legends. That just looks different. It just feels different. So we have some new newer cards. We have the Prismatic Piper. Um, that's an interesting card, uh, especially at a common. We have uh, e Legendary Creatures at Uncommon. I always felt that was a good thing to do. Um, you know, I didn't understand why every Legendary Creature had to be a Mythic or a Rare. This is pretty interesting as a product, and whenever I look at a product in terms of expected value, I do look at the land base. So there was a product, Battle Bond, and Battle Bond had the land that basically was pretty good. I mean, it was pretty good for EDH. Like, it didn't have any downfall for EDH. It basically was a semi-dual, as close to a dual land as you could get in EDH without actually being a dual land. Um, you need two or more opponents, so it couldn't be a one versus one EDH. You would at least need another person, and basically you couldn't really search it because it's not a mountain on land. But for all intents and purposes, it is a very good land, and they have that in the set. Now, do I like the price of it? No, because there's price inflation. I, I'm not sure. Like Battle Bond was what was that? How much was Battle Bond pack back when it released? It was like, it was more expensive, I think, but it came with 36 packs, right? 
I don't know. It just seems like they're making things more expensive for no reason. The per pack, so 125 divided by 24. How much is that per pack? Sounds expensive. Divide 24. It's $5.20 a pack. I'm sure that you could probably get it cheaper than 125, but probably not under 100. 100 would be really aggressive. Um, regardless, this is going to be a very interesting set. And of course, Walmart will carry it. This is the exact type of set that Walmart would carry because I would expect the majority of Walmart's uh, player base to be into ED8s, into casual play. And this is casual cards. Now, do I like this set? Yes. I like this set. Like I said about Karns of Targaryen, Karns of Targaryen sucks. You can go back and look at it. It sucks. But everyone thought it was great because it had five fetch land. That was it. That was the only great thing about Karns of Targaryen. And look at the price today. It's still pretty solid. I mean, all five fetch lands, I think minus one swept heath is over $20. That's pretty good. If you want to know, are these lands good? Oh, I mean, if only we had Battle Bond lands to look at and see what their current price is, and then the answer would be yes, these lands are good. I like them. The set will be good. I don't have any issue with the set. Five good lands, bunch of EDH cards, and you know the price point. So it's not as bad as I expected it would be. Hi guys.